Hey, so it's finally here. Concerned Ape had mentioned that it was very possible that the 1.5 update would come to PC before the end of the year, and it has. So I am sorry to the mobile and the console players, you will have to wait a little while longer. But in the meantime, um, it's been an hour and I now get to check out the new update. Um, I figured I would just, you know, run through uh, one of the biggest additions to the game. Um, this is going to be very minimal spoilers. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to ruin anything that you guys haven't seen yet. But um, what we already kind of assumed was going to happen is that, you know, we got a new farm and it's the beach farm. Um, so I'll just hop into a game. I will show off the farm and um, I'm probably going to spend the next several days playing through all of the new 1.5 content. Um, I will probably make videos on things that I find are interesting. Um, I started reading through the patch notes and there is just a lot to cover. So um, yeah, let me know if you if you want me to cover something in particular. And, and more importantly, I will let you know if you know, there's spoilers or if if I'm going to cover something that, you know, you really would want to see uh, for the first time for yourself. Um, I think that's kind of important. And I know I do a lot of end game and, and you know, um, very particular sorts of content. Um, but my intention, I, I definitely don't want to, you know, ruin this new sort of experience that I'll get to have right now um, with others. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think. All right, so here is the first look for me uh, for the beach farm on the 1.5 update for Stardew Valley. Um, it's different for sure. First thing I notice is that you have to walk through these trees to get to the bus stop. It's kind of like a, you know, incognito. And then we have, you know, the setup for eventually when you get a dog or cat. Um, it's right over here, which is close to your first exit. We have a lot of sandy tiles. Okay, so here's the warp location for when you want to return to the farm. We have a lot of stumps, so that's gonna be a lot of hardwood. Looks like we have a, a, some sort of wreckage or driftwood over here. Okay, here's the exit to the forest, I'm assuming. You're gonna take a couple planks. That's pretty cool. And here's those trees that, you know, we saw several months ago, CA posted uh, a screenshot of, you know, what he was working on. And we saw these these trees in the, in the water. And it, I guess it is confirmed that this is, you know, part of the new beach farm. This looks like a nice uh, fishing spot that you can go out to. Okay, so moving around the bottom and coming up here, this looks like it may be the only spot where we have, you know, traditional soil that you can actually dig in and plant crops. Um, I say that because when this was announced, CA told us that the sand is a little different than, you know, what we're used to. Um, the sand actually clogs the sprinklers, and so this will be the only place that we can actually plant crops with sprinklers. Everything else, when we're talking about the sand that's, you know, throughout this map, you you need to water it yourself, so you're going to need a large watering can for that. So here's just an example. I can plant things here and, you know, the sand works, but I'm going to have to... I mean, it's early on. It's the first day, so I don't have sprinklers to begin with anyway, but... You know, down the line, when you get sprinklers, they're not going to work in the sand because they get clogged up. Here's a first look at our 
um, what eventually will be the greenhouse. It's on its little own little island, and then there's Grandpa's shrine back here. This is really pretty. I dig it. And we also have the cave. The cave will eventually be set up for either mushrooms or bats, and that's kind of cool. I doubt there's anything up here, but I figured I'd check. And here's the exit to get up to, well, eventually the mountain area. So yeah, this is interesting. Um, you know, from everything that CA has said, um, he has said that this map is, it's big, right? It's, uh, it has good fishing, it has good foraging opportunities, and there's a chance, uh, which we haven't seen yet, I'll probably skip a couple days until we find one, um, there's a chance for a rare supply crate to wash up on shore, but there's a catch. The majority of this farm, like I've mentioned earlier, is covered in sandy soil that prevents you from using sprinklers. So ultimately what CA is saying, if this is your first time, you know, playing Stardew Valley, maybe not start with this map. This is definitely going to be a more difficult map to manage. Um, I do think it has a lot of opportunity. I think it's a pretty map too. And I want to, you know, I want to explore that and kind of build up a, you know, a, a huge farm empire here. Also, when we talk about, you know, Stardew Farms, when, when you get through the first year and the second year, right, and you're playing a lot, uh, eventually there comes a time where you're not farming as much as you used to, right? There's a lot of other opportunities and a lot of more profitable opportunities to take advantage of. Um, and I feel like this map is going to be a good um, example to, you know, try and try some of those things, whether it's, you know, artisan goods like kegs or, or, or something else. And finally, we get down to this little dock. I didn't know that this was here, so that's pretty cool. And uh, this looks like probably our, you know, primo fishing position. We won't get our um, fishing pole until day two, but I'm excited to explore this more. All right, guys. Well, you know, that's all I have for now. Um, I definitely have a lot to go through. Um, I plan on covering everything that, you know, the new update uh, has to offer. I, but I also know that that's a lot. And, you know, this, we don't really have any spoilers on this video. Um, but as I start playing over the next few hours, over the next few days, um, I hope to make some content of, you know, some of the end game stuff. And I'll let you guys know when, you know, the video has uh, spoilers in it. So, yeah, let me know what you think of uh, the beach farm. I think this is a great addition. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see what other people can do with it. So, let me know what you think, and uh, I will be back very soon with more content. Thanks for watching.